Five, four, three, two, one. You ready? <laughs> hey! Let's go! Bet! everyone welcome to day seven our last day of our trip we've checked out our bags they're with the bell captain now we're just heading to 51st street on broadway to get into a queue for hopefully we can have breakfast at ellen stardust's hopefully the queue's not too long i'm hoping it's not because it's breakfast but yeah the queue's not too bad But we, uh, we're still going to queue up anyway because we're going to go there. We've got nothing else to do today. We're in Star Ellen Stardust now. We've got the VIP seats, they say. Hot chocolate and a water. So, all these waiters you see with the uh, tops like that. And uh, where it says STRDST, they're singing waiters.
have come out of Ellen Stardust Island now. As you can see, it's pretty uh, cool with all the uh, singers and that, and they can really could sing some of them. Um, we're now on Fifth Avenue, um, just looking at all the shops. Uh, it's also raining, it's quite miserable today, but luckily it is our last day. We've had really good weather whilst we've been here. Um, it's really foggy as well, I don't know if you can see up there. So going to any of the observatories, it's just, you won't be able to see anything. So we're heading down now to um, probably 42nd Street on 5th, where they've got all the fancy shops. So we're just outside Hershey's World, on Hershey's, Hershey's World, on uh, Times Square. Um, Dylan got a couple of bits. Um, we're going to head into hopefully the NFL experience shop here. Um, I want to see if I can get a couple of bits. I don't know if you can go to the shop without actually going. Actually, he says, look, visit the second floor retail shop. So we're going to head into um, the NFL shop now. And hopefully, I want to get some New York Giants stuff. Maybe a hat, t shirt, or something. So let's go in. So this is the NFL shop. Looks pretty cool. Hopefully we can get some bits. Alright. I want to try and get a uh, beanie hat or something. Possibly this stuff. You got eagles. They're the hats. I want this, but I want the uh, New York Giants one. Is it very it? Oh, yeah, helmet. That's pretty cool. How much are the helmets? So, I just got out of the NFL experience in the middle of Times Square and I managed to get myself a New York Giants mini helmet. Um, I was going to get the jacket as well, but I thought I didn't actually manage to do the experience, so um, I won't get the jacket. But we're going to go to McDonald's now for lunch and then we're going to head up to uh, McGee's pub um, to have a beer to finish off. We are now outside the pub at McGee's, which is known for How I Met Your Mother. Um, we, uh, we have just gone in um, to have a look, but Dylan forgot his ID again, so there's no point because he can't get any alcohol, and you got to wait for a sit down. We've just had food as well, so pretty pointless. But yeah, this is the pub. That was How I Met Your Mother with Neil Patrick Harris. Like I said, I don't, I don't watch it. I don't know anything about it, so. I'm just outside now, me just having a look inside, see what it's all about. So, this street's quite weird. If you, if you honk your horn in this street, you get $350 fine. I don't know why, but um, yeah, there you go. What street? I don't know what street this is. This is 55th Street in between 7th and 8th. There you go. Not much here, to be honest, except for the pub. So, I'm just heading back to the hotel now, and what we didn't realise till we started walking in and out of our hotel to Times Square. We're actually near a high school and they're all playing the American sports. You've got kids playing American football down there. You've got, they're playing uh, basketball. It's all pretty cool. And you see them in the morning all walking to school in their, uh, their own clothes with their hip hop, with the glasses on and all very hipster and funk. But it's cool to see American school kids playing American sports compared to us English guys all playing football all the time. No one here is playing football or soccer, as uh, what they like to call it. So, that's pretty cool. That's the uh, high school near us. Um, so yeah, we're heading back to the hotel room now. Not the hotel room, can't get in there anymore. To the hotel lobby. Um, absolutely knackered this holiday. Uh, I've been walking like about 32,000 steps per day, but it's good we've got so much crammed in. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> we're heading back to the hotel lobby, jump on the Wi-Fi, I want to try and uh, download a couple of YouTube videos to watch on the plane, because I've been adding them to my watch list, the ones I need to watch that I've missed, and I'm currently on 64. So there's quite a lot of uh, YouTube to be watching, so I'll download a couple of those and watch them on the plane. Um, I'm going to change out my jeans as well, get more comfortable, put my uh, joggers on. So yeah, nearly done, nearly the end. So we are just leaving our hotel now, we've been waiting in the lobby for a little bit. Our taxi's here, so we're just getting on. So we're saying goodbye to New York for the, uh, the last time. We've got to go and pick other people up in the hotel. Um, really, 
We're going right to the back. Yeah, because they've got two other hotels to go to. <sighs> hey. So, yeah, we're going to head off to JFK now. Um, yeah. So I'll probably catch up with you when we're at JFK Airport. So we've just made it back to the uh, airport, JFK Airport Terminal 4 we are at. Um, we, we've checked in already, we just need to get rid of our luggage that we've still got hanging about. And then we're going to head into hopefully go through security and then onto the duty free where I've got about $18 left so I'll try and get rid of it. I'm probably going to end up with a little bit of change but I'll just keep hold of that and put it in a little pot back at home. Um, yeah, basically. It's really foggy outside today. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, um, you can tell a little bit, but yeah, it's really foggy. We are just heading to the gate now. I managed to go into an NFL shop this time in the duty free. I got myself a uh, New York Giants jacket, um, really stoked with. Um, it was up for $80, and then the tag was uh, crossed out and put for $59.99. And then when I gave it to the guy at the uh, till, he said 40. And I was like, sweet. So I gave him the rest of the dollars I had, which was about $19. And I paid the rest on card. Um, so I got a helmet now, mini helmet. And I got the jacket, really happy. No more dollars left. Um, just going to our gate now. Go on the new uh, Boeing 7287, which is uh, one of Virgin's newest planes. Apparently it's all teched up compared to the last plane we were on earlier. So here we go, good fun. So we're now on the um, shuttle, making our way to the airport, to the aeroplane tour. Goodbye, New York. You can actually see him taking off over there. Pretty far. Trying to hold on as much as I can. Pretty, pretty packed plane. Pra pretty packed train. Now on the uh, fancy plane. It's a very mood lighting, as Dylan was saying. Leg room's decent, I like the leg room. And as well, I don't have that box in front of me. So I can kind of stretch my legs out as well. And the TV, it's all touch screen. Um, not the minute, but kind of is. As well, we've got the window button, which doesn't work yet, but you press it and it tints it. As you can see, there's no blinds. So it's all pretty fancy, all pretty new. Hopefully it'll be a nice flight. So we're sat on the fancy plane right now. The one that I'm so excited to get on. It's a plane, but there's a spare seat here. Now, no one's sitting there, I'm so going to sit there. Because please do, please do, because you're squashing me. Hopefully, I'll get to move over. I keep looking at that. So, hopefully, I'll get to move over. I'm mean, just relaxed. It's really nice, really comfortable. So we managed to get a seat in between us because the plane is now headed to the wrong way. Um, so nice and relaxed, nice and chilled out. We've managed to put and there are green signs. all our stuff on the, on the, the chair in the middle as well. So yeah, chill out, relax, and enjoy our flight. Six hours as well, so it's two hours shorter than coming here. So it's all good. An hour short. So we're just about to take off. This is our plane. This is quite cool, this touchscreen thing. Obviously we're heading across over here until we land. in London, there, well, yeah, London, pretty cool, where are we going, I try and zoom in that way and then zoom out, there you go, <coughs> that's our plane if it focuses, let's try and bring it out, there we go, I'm trying to zoom in on it, oh, there you go, that's what, that's what our flight's doing, so we should land in 8.30 UK time, Turn this up. There you go, 3D plane. So we have now landed in uh, London Heathrow. It would be 5 to 4 in the morning back in New York, but it's now 5 to 9. So definitely going to be jet lagged today. Um, I'm going to get home and just sleep properly. Watch loads of YouTube videos, sleep, and then start the editing of this vlog. Just messing around with the uh, tinting of the windows, if you see. The, um, there's no shutters, that's per se. So, yeah, um, <coughs> see if we can get to duty free before we leave. Watch to get on the tube back to Leicester Square and then Charing Cross back to home, and hopefully, I'll get picked up from the station. So, that is it. That is our New York trip done. I'm now on a train at Charing Cross, waiting to depart to get back to Chelsea, get back to home relax, see the cats, see my family, 
um, tell them all about what we did, give them um, the lowdown, and then show them some of the gifts I've got. Uh, pretty cool. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching all my vlogs, my series of eight part episode of being in New York. It was really fun to do as well as, um, uh, you know, getting you guys to see what my experience was like and doing the whole vlogging thing was pretty fun. Um, you obviously got to have the confidence for it. Uh, I think I managed with it walking through the middle of the streets of Times Square with my phone up like this, uh, not caring what whoever's behind me. So. Um, hope you have enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned because I might do any more vlogs um, and obviously I'll post more gaming stuff. So stay tuned in a bit.